I'd like to call the sixth meeting of the 2015-2016 Common Council to order. Would the clerk please read the quote for the day? Thank you, Mayor. When you look at a field of dandelions, you can either see a hundred weeds or a hundred wishes. Thank you very much. Um, would you please call the roll? Uh, there are 15 present. Okay, we'll move on. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'll move on to the approval of the minutes from our last meeting. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to approve. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on those minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to resignation. City Attorney. There are three. I'll read them. First, to Mayor Vandersteen and members of the Harbor Center Bid Board. I hereby resign my position as board member effective May 20, 2015, as I'm no longer able to attend meetings due to a change in employment relocating me outside of the district. I'm grateful for having had the opportunity to serve on the board of this fine organization. I offer my best wishes for its continued success, and I look forward to seeing the continued progress of the district. Sincerely, Tom Brickley. Second one, uh, uh, dear Mayor Vandersteen, this is to inform you that I am resigning from the Mayor's International Committee, effective as of today's date, it's dated May 29. Uh, due to family health issues, I am unable to attend meetings or commit any time for committee events. Sincerely, Fran Berg. And then uh, this is to inform that I have resigned from the Library Board, effective June 1, 2015. Sincerely, Martha Warchi. Thank you. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Move to accept and file. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in, let's see, we, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to mayor's appointments. City attorney. Yes. Uh, honorable members of the Common Council, I hereby submit the following appointment for your consideration. Cindy Dross to be considered for appointment to the Joint Review Board as the LTC representative with the term expiring on April 30, 2016, signed by the mayor. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to confirm. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Would the clerk please call the roll for confirmation. Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. <clears throat> Next item on the agenda is uh, election of an alder person for vacancy in district number one. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I move that nominations be received from the floor, voting to be done by open ballot, and if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list and the balloting to continue until one candidate receives the majority. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to nominate Todd Wolf and Tim Lorenz. Second. Thank you for that uh, motion and support. Alderman Hammond. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that nominations be closed. Second. Thank you very much. I guess uh, at this point, we'd like to take a minute and ask each of the candidates to uh, come up and give us uh, a brief uh, reason why they want to run and their, their resume if they'd like. So doing this alphabetically, Tim Lorenz, would you please come up to the podium first? Right up here. Good evening. My name is Tim Lorenz, a uh, citizen of the city of Sheboygan. I've been now for, well, now over 10 years off and on. Um, always had a pass an interesting government. In fact, I served uh, on this august body from 1980 to 1982. Uh, I was a lot younger at the time, so it's, uh, and, and uh, probably not quite as mature as I am right now. 
Uh, I don't know if you had a copy of what I got down here. It's pretty simple. Um, it was on the Streets Committee, Law and Licensing Committee. Currently, I'm an independent insurance agent, primarily deal with uh, health insurance, uh, uh, life insurance, and so forth. Uh, and I opened up an office right across from Fountain Park called the ABCs and Ds of Medicare. Uh, many of you may have read uh, my articles that I place in the beacon. I have a Currently, I'm a landlord as well as I have a degree in urban planning and regional planning. So other than the fact that, you know, I've always had this keen interest in government, uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Any questions? Do we, can I entertain questions? Anybody want to ask? Seeing none? Probably not. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much, Tim. <clears throat> Next, we'll call up Todd Wolf. Thank you, Mayor and Council. Although it's unfortunate that Eldon has recently become ill, as he has been a, a good asset to the Council and all the position, we wish him and his family well on his road to recovery. I'd like to thank, thank you for this opportunity and considering me as a candidate for the District 1 um, alder, alder person. I look forward to assisting you in supporting Sheboygan and representing our constituents. As you know, I have served in the past as on transit, uh, city transit and city planning commissions and have returned back to the city planning um, with a two year hiatus. Um, I also have, would like to say that with the many years of business and manufacturing experience, I will bring a continued perspective to the, to, in assisting the difficult decisions that continue to be made in the future. Please consider me for District 1 Elder Person appointment. Thanks again for your consideration. Thank you very much, Todd. <clears throat> I then ask the city uh, attorney to hand out the ballots. After you filled out your ballots, just hold it up and walk around to collect them. While they're counting the ballots, I'd just like to ask all of you to make sure you put your microphones on your, your shirt or whatever. They've been hearing a lot of rustling papers and things like that that uh, f goes through to the, uh, the public. Uh, if you're leaving it, sit on your desk. Uh, they feel that that would really help out, so if we could accommodate them, that'd be great. Thank you very much.
could be nice. We have a new alderman, Todd Wolf. Congratulations. Tim, thank you. Very <laughs> Tim, thank you very much for your interest in the position. Todd, uh, if there's no objections, I'd like to have Todd sworn in right now, and then he can take his seat uh, on the council floor. Todd, would you please come forward? And we'll have uh, some committee appointments uh, ready for the next meeting for your approval uh, to fit Todd into the, the, midi, the, the committee structure. Next, we'll move on to uh, the program, our downtown and Harbor Center rebranding. Dave Hoffman uh, couldn't make it this evening, so Dave Gass, the president of the board, is here to pitch hit for him. Dave, please come forward. And Jay Davis Wood is joining him. Todd, now that you're my uh, older person, uh, we can talk about some potholes in front of my... <laughs> no? <laughs> um, thank you, everybody, for uh, having us. What we're going... We were asked to um, kind of give to you an abbreviated version of a presentation we gave at a networking event we, ho we held on May 18th. And maybe before I get into that, um, um, this is some background. Um, if you'll remember a couple of years ago, um, the bid had some challenges as to whether that was even going to continue to exist. And there was actually moves to disband the, the Harbor Center Business Improvement District, sorry about that acronym, we, which we called the bid. Um, and that passed and we stayed together. And as a board, we uh, basically said we really got to figure out where are we going with this downtown association with the Harbor Center Association. And after, with that discussion, we went into a master plan process, um, spent a fair amount of money to do that, but it was, in my opinion, um, well worth it because it, if it did nothing else, it kind of got us on the same page. It was a consensus builder. And out of that master plan, there were three key items that came out of that. One, uh, to create an arts food uh, culture district in the downtown area um, to work on uh, urban development, uh, primarily housing, and also to work on better connections between the areas of the downtown. After we did that, we kind of restructured our board. We refocused our money. A lot of our money was spent on, on programs and running events, which in all candor were not really uh, uh, worth the dollar. And so we refocused our money on um, beautification enhancement, and we, we reformed some committees. And um, at one of those committee meetings, we started talking about the whole downtown bid area, and really everybody said, you know, that name doesn't mean anything to anybody. In fact, it's even worse. Sometimes it means a negative to people. It doesn't sound real jazzy. It doesn't communicate anything. And so we thought we needed to really talk about 
um, really, what are we trying to communicate here? I mean, do we want to create something like a third ward or whatever? And so we um, were connected with um, a group called the Lanius Group, who did some work for us and came up with um, um, some new branding that we'll talk about tonight and was part of our uh, presentation. So what we're going to do is we had a presentation we did for our networking event, um, which is the first time we've done anything like that in the bid that I remember. And the purpose of it was to get the uh, members of the downtown bid together to say, you know what, um, first of all, if we expect people from the outside to be positive about Sheboygan, we better be positive. And so when people are coming into our businesses and our places um, of hospitality, we better be cheery and positive and excited about Sheboygan because otherwise you can't expect that they're just going to be spontaneously excited, um, although a lot of them are. Uh, so um, that was really the purpose, and we had a good, a good showing. So what we're going to do is um, run through our, our presentation. Uh, we'll abbreviate it because we've spent a little bit more time on it. Um, and um, Jane... As you, some of you may know, Jane uh, Davis Wood owns Relish, uh, which is uh, located on A Street and um, uh, deals in kitchen and food and miscellaneous other neat items. It is a playground for cooks. Okay. Um, and so Jane is on our board and has been, has been active on our board and our committee. So, um, so I think I'm going to let Jane start with the first several slides. Let me move over there. So you can advance. Yep. Uh, next. So the first thing we did was welcome the newest business uh, on downtown Urban Artic. If you haven't been in Urban Artic, it is such a good fit to our area. Um, they take all of re uh, there's 30 Wisconsin artists who make artwork and home decor out of repurposed goods, and they also offer classes and sell paint. And uh, they've got a really exciting. Um, feel about their store real fresh and we're it's really excited to have yet another stock shopping destination next please the one thing in moving forward is everything is attitude um attitude 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 you have to be positive about your your store first of all you need to be positive about your neighbors you need to be positive about um everything that's going on you know there's always a little setback but you know what the changes that I've seen downtown in the 20 months of being in business have been nothing but positively in affecting my business. I was just telling Chad the barricades went down on Thursday. Business tripled the minute they went down. People said, now I can see you now as I'm coming from the south. So it's been great. So we are all about positive and, you know, what's happened in the past happened in the past. And the whole idea is to move forward now and get people really involved and engaged in who is downtown, who is in the bid, who is in South Pier, and get to know each other and also move traffic within the area so that we're keeping people in one place. Um, next, please. So advance. It's, so the biggest thing is that we need to work together. Um, everybody in, the, in, in all of the shopping districts, one of the things we did, that, um, Dave put together was a nice list of who is here. So we all have our laminated list by our cash wraps. And some, somebody comes up to us and they go, where's a good restaurant? Um, I'm needing a lawyer service because I'm moving to town. Or I need an insurance agent. We pull out the list. Here you go. Please spend your dollars here. Um, so we need to, when I was in the department store world, and there's an, there's an old selling thing that we do in department stores, and this is a well-trained thing that we do. Um, you, the customer usually starts in cosmetics. If they can't get them to spend money, it is a path that they automatically send them to shoes. Hey, there's a beautiful pair of shoes. If shoes can't sell them something, they send them to men's. If men's can't sell them something, they send them to the home store. Until somebody in that group is able to gently turn that person upside down and shake the money out of their pockets. So um, that's what we're trying to accomplish in our shopping district. And um, getting people together and getting to know each other and um, so that if Scroggins is running an estate sale on Saturdays, I, when people are in my store, hey, did you know it was a great sale going down the street? And then when he says, did you know that there's a great Bloody Marys available over here? So we're trying to keep all of the shopping money 
in one of the last shopping districts in the entire city. We move forward. Um, so what that does, by supporting each other, um, um, people stay longer in your stores and they stay longer in your district. And when they stay longer in the district, they remember positive experiences. They spend their money. Um, they tell their friends. We get repeat business. It's all very, very good. If my neighbor's making money, I'm making money. And it goes down the line and down the line and down the line. And we become the most popular shopping district like the old days. Okay, um, you move forward. So one of the things that we've done in our group, um, on our Facebook page, the Sheboygan Squared Facebook page, we've established a closed discussion group just for the, the owners and uh, employees of the district. So um, it's closed discussion so they can ask any questions that they want, and Dave moderates it and administers the page. And so, um, you know, we'd, we'd let them know about events. We let them know about um, if people are having sales. Right now, um, it was posted that uh, a, a good article was posted about um, how retailers need to have a chip reader in place by federal law um, for their charge cards machines, and that has to be done by October 1st. Well, that started a nice discussion, and somebody says, well, I can get that for everybody. If anybody needs any help with that, I can help you get that installed in your stores. So we pass information around like that. We want to use this site, too, to offer um, tips on customer service and what customer service is from around all of it, how customer service is approached, whether it be the bus drivers, um, smiling and because they're so happy to be at their jobs and, and talking about the downtown to, to store owners, to service people, to the insurance agents, to the chiropractors, and just getting people, um, you know, discussing what's going on and keeping a good positive discussion going. It's not a place to go and complain. So um, it, we keep it extremely professional. So that's been very positive, and there's 77 members and growing every day. And um, it's been a very exciting time for us down there, and it's, I'm seeing positive changes as people are sending people my way, I'm sending them their way, and it's positively impacted my business. Jane mentioned um, the uh, laminated. So this is maybe I, I'll let... This is a little laminate card we gave to every merchant. Um, the bid put this together so that they would have this handy dandy reference. And then we also put together this to put a little clingy, whatever the exact name is, uh, to put on their windows so that basically there's some branding that's going to start taking place. And that's a good kind of segue into the next. So, what do we, we um, um, tasked the Lanius to come up with a a more exciting design, a more modern design, a more captivating design. And um, we thought they get a, did a great job. In fact, they kind of got it right the first time. It's, I think it's unusual when you deal with branding and creative people. You can spend a lot of time going back and forth. And this was their first presentation to us. And what they said was, you know, we had, if you remember, we had the riverfront, South Pier, and downtown, and we were struggling, and, it, and, and none of those really had a separate identity. We call it the bid. Um, and they came forward, kind of a fresh face, fresh look, and they said, you know what, you really have two areas. You have one big area, but you kind of have a harbor center and a downtown, um, and the way to do it is we can tie them together with like a third Sheboygan banner, and that's how they came up with it. So you have the Sheboygan banner, which is the blue, and then we have the downtown, which is for the downtown area and the Harbor Center. And what we're going to do, in fact, maybe starting this week, um, is we've um, uh, printed up 72 of these banners. And um, I don't remember the quantity separation, but like maybe 40 of them or 30 of them are going to go downtown on A Street. Maybe another 20 or so are going to, or 30 are going to go in riverfront, the riverfront area and the South Pier area. And then um, tied to that, we also talked about, you know, this color makes you feel much better. Um, and so we decided to also look at planters, and we came up with the circular planters. And I think we've got 30 of those planters out, and um, um, they're up. At, and uh, with the rain and the sun, they're going to start growing and hopefully overflow and really be <coughs> something else. 
and maybe next year we'll even be able to do more. So there's going to be some real visual change there. Um, the next couple slides, I think, just show where the locations are, and I'll just scroll past those. Keep, go keep going. Next one. Next two. Um, okay. Um, you've, I, I'm sure all of you have seen the bus. One thing I should say that has come out of our work here is um, we have a great partnership going that we didn't really have before. I mean, it's not that the, that the bid in the city didn't talk before, but I think we really are working together and we are getting some organizations that we never had any conversations before, to no one's fault, uh, John Michael Kohler Arts Center and the Wild Center. And, you know, they, John Michael Kohler especially has become a great participant. We have a member from the, uh, John Michael Kohler on our board, um, and they've been helpful. And so with the city, we've worked on this bus, and city development has been really helpful and instrumental in working with on the bus and the design. I thought they came up with a really great design. Obviously, mirrors the branding that we put up, and that's running around uh, in the new Sheboygan Squared area. I didn't mention that. The, uh, um, the branding, the, the, sort of the overall brand, is going to be Sheboygan Squared. Um, I don't know what your first thought is when you hear that. I know when I first heard it, I thought, ooh, Sheboygan Squared, I don't know. But after a while, it really, for me, it grew on me, and I think everybody we've come in contact with really likes it. Um, and you'll start to see more and more of that um, as we, you know, we get the banners up and talk about it more and more. Uh, so next slide, Sue. Um, obviously, you know about the Boston store. Um, you know, we were pretty helpful in working with the city on that, and um, we're very happy with what's happening there. Um, we think it's going to be a great um, jumping point for development. Um, the grass is growing. I drove by there on the way over here. I bet it was greener and taller than it was this morning. Um, and so we're looking forward uh, to that. Okay, and you've, you've seen that, so we can go past that. You've seen all of that. Um, the concert series you've heard about, again, this is part of the partnership that we've really, I think, been able to kind of develop with the um, with John Michael Cole Arts Center in the city is uh, for uh, 12 <laughs> weeks there's going to be a concert and it'll be downtown um, obviously on the former Boston Star property we have to think of a different name than the former Boston Star property um, that's the task uh, but um, we it's going to you see that 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 silver space capsule looking I think which is a recording studio um, and so they'll be there and I think it's going to be great we we're working with our businesses to see if they are willing to stay open um, we're going to have a raffle that has some promotions attached to it. If they go, people go into the businesses after they um, go to the concert. Um, they're going to have um, food trucks out front. So again, it's a first step. Um, Rome wasn't conquered in a day, and, and you know we're not going to get this all you know um, into a third ward in one day. But we're going to get it done. Okay, moving forward. Uh, this is the whole concert suit. I think you've all seen this already. Um, continuing, next one. Um, and love it at next. Um, obviously, you know about the housing. I'll skip over that. We talked about that with our groups, so that they were a little aware of it. And and uh, I, I'm optimistic that there'll be stuff coming in the very short term. Um, so Sheboygan Squared is really kind of the theme that we're using to bring uh, this all together. And um, you've seen the the map guy, the guys. We were able to get these things redesigned um, really at the last moment um, with the banners on there um, and again the city um, with the bus they were able to get these little uh, routes for the square which is what the bus is uh, known as and I think some of the banners you'll see will also have different names on them like it'll, some will say food near food the restaurants some will say um, culture near like John Michael Cole Arts Center so um, we talked about networking we, we're starting to work on getting uh, the businesses to work together even more so in fact, one of our next things we're going to put together is an uh, internal um, customer perspective, not customer appreciation, customer perspective. We're going to really try to get the businesses to focus on, you know, how do they orient their store to maximize customer enjoyment and, again, help us grow and grow and grow. So that, I think, is pretty much the essence of our dog and pony show here tonight. Anybody have any questions? Well, Dave, I'd like to thank you and Jane for the presentation. It's uh, really uh, 
quite a, a great job you're doing in, in refocusing the Sheboygan Squared group and the merchants down there. So thanks for all your work great. in that area. Great, thank you. Okay, next we'll move on to public forum. Um, Jason Peters, I don't see Jason here. Uh, that would be it. Okay, <laughs> next is mayor's announcement. I'd just like to know, uh, let, let everybody know that this Wednesday is the first uh, Sheboygan Pops concert that'll take place at Fountain Park from uh, roughly six o'clock to 8.30. So hopefully we'll get some good weather for that and get that season started. Next, we'll move on to consent agenda. That'll include items 2.2 through 2.26. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, move to accept and file all, all reports of officers, accept and adopt all reports of committees, and put all resolutions and ordinances upon their passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the consent agenda? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to reports of officers. Item 3.1 is an RO by the city clerk submitting an application for a change of premise for the Duke of Devon. Uh, Alderman Vanderweel. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move uh, to suspend the rules. Is there any objection? To, is there any objection to suspension? Seeing none, please proceed. Then I move that the RO be accepted and placed on file. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. <laughs> Items 3.2 through 3.7 will be referred to various committees under resolutions. Item 4.1 is a resolution by Alderman Hammond accepting $32,000 in grant monies from the Department of Administration Wisconsin Coastal Management Program for the wave attenuation study at the Harbor Center Marina. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to suspend the rules. Second. Thank you for that motion. Is there any objection to suspension? If not, please proceed. Thank you. Uh, I move to put the resolution upon this passage. Second. The motion is before us. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. <coughs> Item 4.2 will lie over to our next meeting. Items 4.3 through 4.8 will be referred to various committees. Item 4.9 is a resolution by Alderman Hammond authorizing retaining outside legal counsel to represent the city in the matter of NRFC Memorial Holdings LLC versus the city of Sheboygan and authorizing payment for said services. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Again, I'd move to suspend the rules. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any objection to suspension? Seeing none, please proceed. I move to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. Under reports of committees, 
Item 5.1 is an RC by finance to whom was referred resolution number 23 of 1415 by Alderman Hammond authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2015 budget to establish revenue and appropriation for contribution received from NEMAC for firefighting protective clothing. Uh, Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and adopt and put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd just like to take the opportunity to thank NEMAC for their contribution to the fire department. Thank you very much. Is there any other discussion? If not, would the clerk please call the roll for passage? Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. Item 5.2 is an RC by finance to whom was referred resolution number 24 of 1415 by Alderman Hammond providing for the sale of approximately for the sale of approximately four thousand three hundred and ten uh, or four million three hundred and ten thousand in general obligation promissory notes and approximately Two million three hundred and seventy-five thousand in taxable general obligation refunding bonds. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and adopt and put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Alderman Boren. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Alderman Hammond, could you go into a little bit of the detail on this uh, as far as what savings we're going to realize on <clears throat> doing this bonding? And are these bonds also callable in the future if, if need be? Thank Alder you. Thank you. Alderman Hammond? Um, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, the $3 million of the $4.3 million, uh, $2 million for capital improvements, $1 million for the motor vehicle fund, $1.3 million is debt refinancing of our debt offering, 2007 Alpha. Um, that debt offering had about a 4.875 interest rate. Um, the 2.375 um, are... Uh, 2006 bonds that we had issued um, roughly between 5.6 5.8% interest bond council believes we can get somewhere around 2% interest rate if that comes through it should be roughly after fees and expenses from bond council legal council about $26,000 of savings um, the 20 uh, the $3 million um, of 2024 bonds uh, or the $3 million that's a 10-year bond um, comes doable pay, or comes payable in roughly 2024. Thank you, for, thank you for that information, Alderman Bourne. Thanks, Mayor. Just to just to follow up, I forgot to ask uh, Alderman Hammond: Is any of that money uh, to go to our obligation to the county for a combined dispatch, or is that going to be a future bonding? Thank you very much, Alderman Hammond. Um, no, none of that is for the combined dispatch. Um, That'll be part of the discussion with the budget and where to take those funds out in late 2016 or 2017 when we're um, responsible for paying that. Thanks. Thank you for your information. Alderman Jose. Um, I'd like to make a motion to separate the, separate the resolution into two separate, uh, so we're not voting, if we're voting I, we're not voting for, for both. Of the bonding is that okay to separate those two items? Okay, is there any objection to, se to the separation? Alderman Hammond? Um, I guess the only objection I would have is to keep in mind that, you know, if we separate the two, vote for one, vote for the other, they're all part of a package. Um, and the fees, legal expenses, all those types of things that go along with it um, would be higher if we separate these out and did one now and one at a different time. Um, if it's even possible to do and to call those bonds that are coming due. So just want to make sure everybody understands um, there's a infrastructure or structure challenge with separating this question um, and voting on them separately. If one goes down, it could be more expensive to do the others. Okay, then we'll uh, be voting on the general obligation promissory notes of approximately 4,310,000 first. Were the clerk? Uh, was, was, was there a second? There wasn't a second. Was the division need a second? Yes. Second. Okay. Is there a second to division? 
seeing none, then everything will stay together. Um, we're, we're the, is there any other discussion on 5.2? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll then? Fourteen eyes, one no. Motion passes. Item 5.3 will be referred to the Marina Park and Forestry Commission. Under ordinances, both items 6.1 and 6.2 will be referred. And we'll go on to other matters. City Attorney. Other matters, 7.1 uh, is an RO from the City Clerk submitting a summons and complaint in the matter of NRFC Memorial Holdings, LLC versus the City of Sheboygan. Referred to the Finance Committee. 7.2 is a resolution uh, authorizing the sale of city-owned property formerly known as 1036 Erie Avenue. That will be referred to the City Planning Commission. 7.3 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2016 and June 30, 2017. It will be referred to the Law and Licensing Committee. Um, I'd just like to go back a little bit on the agenda. Item 4.3 was listed as a referral to the Committee of the Whole, and we're going to change that to Strategic Fiscal Planning. So just make a note of that on your agenda. And then um, next I'd like to ask uh, Alderman Hammond for a motion on a closed session. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. Move to convene in closed session under the exemption provided in Section 19851E of the Wisconsin Statutes for the purpose of deliberating or negotiating regarding specified public business where competitive and bargaining reasons require a closed session, to wit, potential remedies for non-performance of contractual provisions related to the development of the former Boston Store site. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Would the clerk please call the roll for closed session. Fifteen eyes. That motion passes. We'll take a five-minute recess and reconvene. Oh, yeah.